this, a handful of that, but I've never been a fan of toxic argument, and I like to have fun. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind play fighting with, you know, I don't mind play fighting with, you know, with a cool girl, but I don't like argument. I don't like no negative energy. You know what I'm saying? But it, I never was a fan of toxic. I like quiet girls, innocent girls. I like goofy girls, playful girls. You know what I'm saying? But I don't like that. That toxic. That can get real, real. They can go left quick. So I'm not, I never was a fan of that. Some guys like that. They attract that. They cool with it. But every guy I know that's a fan of toxic women, they always end up on something. They always end up on child support. They always end up on some altercation. So you got to look at the, the big picture. You know what I'm saying? It might seem cool and exciting now, but then you find yourself in a situation that you can't get out of or, you know, say it can go real far dealing with the wrong, dealing with the wrong womb, man. And sometimes it's sneaky. Sometimes the ones that's toxic, they look innocent. You can't judge by looks, man. You can't judge by looks. Y'all saw that um, those screenshots of all those beautiful model-looking women that was in, that was in um, they mug shots. They don't look like they'll do what they did. You know what I'm saying? They don't look like they'll do what they did, but they did it, and they look like models. So we can't go by looks. You see what I'm saying? We can't go by looks. Um, but I've never been a fan. I like innocent girls. Playful girls, goofy girls, and well, innocent looking girls, innocent vibe. I know ain't nobody perfect, but innocent vibe, I'm cool with. Because I like a peace of mind. I like to have fun. I already deal with enough handful of stuff. You know what I'm saying? We already deal with enough handful of stuff already. You know what I'm saying? So why would, why would I want to get, you know, a woman supposed to bring help, supposed to help bring a peace of mind? She's supposed to help you amplify everything you're doing. So I guess if you drama, she's supposed to help you bring more drama. You know what I'm saying? If you dramatize, but I don't recommend that. I don't recommend that. But they supposed to help amplify who you are. So you're supposed to be in the image of God. So they supposed to help amplify your godliness. I know that's not what you're seeing out here. Because they don't know how to choose which guy to help. They've been choosing the devil. They done fell in love with the devil. They fell in love with the devil and put Jesus in the friend zone. And that's why you see all this stuff going on because they addicted to the forbidden. They addicted to they addicted to the seduction of Satan. I'm telling you, anybody who act like Satan, they don't have most of these modern women love them. They don't have no problem. They don't, I don't care if he broke, short, big, heavy. I don't care how he look. If he is infested with a demon vibe, if he's notoriously demonic in his nature, for some reason they are attracted to that. They are attracted to more than that than a man as in that's acting like Jesus. They are attracted more so than that than a man that's acting like Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So we got a lot, you know, a lot of guys, you know, Cat William, he's willing to admit to that. He's willing to admit that he attracted to toxic women. But most guys don't admit to that. The same way most, same way most women don't admit that they attracted to toxic, evil, evil um, men. Oh no, he's born. Oh no, he's dead. Oh no, he's this. Oh no, he that. They say he born because because he ain't causing no drama. They can see that he's genuine. When you genuine, when you genuine, and they sense that you genuine, they say ain't no way out. They always complaining about they don't want that, but that's all what they always grabbing. Imagine me complaining that I don't want something, but I'm always grabbing it. You know what I'm saying? So, you can't bite an orange and expect it to taste like an apple. They biting the oranges and expect it to taste like an apple. It don't work that way. You know what I'm saying? I can't get a man that's ungodly 
The woman can't get a man that's ungodly and expect him to be low, you know, be godly or be act the way she thinks he's supposed to act accordingly. No, that's delusional. You know, see what's happening is they say they want this type of guy, but they really want the opposite so they can convert. The problem is a good man, he's already there, so they can't convert him. They can't take the credit. They can't get the credit for his uh for his for his goodly his his goodness. They wanna say, Oh yeah, I, um yeah, I put up with his stuff and he was he was cheating on me, but I prayed for him. And they want to be able to take the success of his goodness or godliness or whatever. And that's what's going on. Juan Gale in the house. My main man, Juan Gale. What's up, my man? Hope you're having a good day, bro. But yeah, man, it's just a lot of toxic toxicity is going on out here, man. And uh, that's why the divorce rate is high because... The women are getting with guys. And then they want, then they're breaking up with them. They want to get married. That's on their checklist. See, they want to check their list off. They've been playing with toys all their life. The toys, the Bobby and Ken toy. And they get married and the two toys get married. So all that is in their mind. Like when I get older, I got to get married. I, I got to get a wedding dress. All this is in their mind. Once they check off, once they check off their list, guess what else is on their list? Guess what else is on their list? Divorce. Believe it or not, divorce is on their list. I got to wipe that, that, that thing off. I don't think that screen clear enough. But divorce is on their list, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can wipe that screen off. I don't want to mess with it. Might knock it off. It's all. It's still good. But man, it's uh. You got to be careful because I know women are designed to help you. But the devil have creep trying to reverse it. Same way you see in the R and B videos where you see the the cross upside down, the upside down cross. That's what you see. They, the devil is trying to reverse everything. The devil is trying to reverse everything. He's been doing a good job, unfortunately. He's been doing a good job, but we still got a lot of people to save, man. And the devil has been destroying relationships. Why? Because the doc, God, God want he love relationships. God want everybody to be family for real. Not just your blood immediately family that you know in the household you grew up, but God want mankind to be family. He wants y'all. He want us to be family and help each other out and share, share food, money, resources. You know what I'm saying? But the devil wants you to be selfish, prideful, competitive, egotistic. The the ego has got so many brothers punished. You step on my foot. You step on my foot with my new Jordans on? Oh, it's on now. It's a disaster. Ego. You ain't got to swell up if you know who you are. People know who you are even if they go against who you are. Oh, they talk bad to superheroes. They all in superheroes' face like they can whoop them. Yeah, yeah. They don't care about it. They put their life in jeopardy all the time. With superhero people. The same way they put their life in jeopardy. Always teasing a lion. And messing with a lion. They do that with people too. If people are teasing a lion. That's going to eat them up. Bite their neck and stuff. They'll mess with a superhero too. They don't care if you're super strong. Or if you super big. People test people all the time. And end up with a negative result because most people they jealous of certain people gifts power and blessings they jealous they jealous of it man so this is something you got to think about man 
this is something you got to think about when you're dealing with when you're dealing with a mate. When you're dealing with a mate, choose what choose wisely. You just can't go by looks. I know they look good. Women can't choose a man just because his money looks and status. And a man shouldn't choose a woman because of her beauty and ba 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 ba. Yabba dabba do. With them cheeks. That cleavage. Shouldn't choose a woman just for that. So many do. But it's not the right thing to do. So many do that, man. You know? So many do that. And I think that's I think that's ridiculous. You know, I had my share of dealing with some nutty buddies because they look good. I don't know if y'all dealt with any, you know, you tried to you tried to tolerate, you know what I'm saying? A, a good looking uh you tried to tolerate a good looking um a good looking woman or a good looking person, you know what I'm saying? If you're a woman, a good looking man, just because the way they look, I ain't I did it a few times when I, you know, in the past, but but it's not, it's a waste of time, man, because the pain, the irritation, the irritation is way much, it's much higher than, the irritation is much higher than the reward, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing worse than dealing with a, a, a beautiful, a, a physically beautiful person that get on your nerves. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing worse than dealing with a physically beautiful person that get on your nerves. What in the world? So that's just something to think about, man, because uh, so many people are willing to jeopardize their peace of mind just for a piece of behind. You know? So, but I, I'm past that level, man. I'm past that level. It's all about a peace of mind, you know? It's all about a peace of mind. I know women got a high pain tolerance. Most women got a high, they got a high, they got a high pain tolerance. So that's why, that's another reason why they like to deal with toxicity because that drama gives them a feeling because they got a high pain tolerance. They feel like they boring. They feel like they bored if they, they feel like they're bored if they deal with a cool, a, a, a guy that's genuine, a guy that don't drink, a guy that don't smoke. They feel like they, they feel like they, the guy is boring. You know what I'm saying? You know, and when they know that he's going to be faithful, they want to feel like they don't know. They want to feel like I don't know what to expect from this guy. I know this guy going to cheat on me. They get a kick out of that. I know it sounds wild. I know, it's, I know it sounds wild, but they get a kick out of that, man. A lot of them get a kick out of getting in a situation um, that they know for sure it ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? They know when a dude, they, they know what's up. They know when a dude is not interested. They know when a dude got some drama. They know when a dude don't got him in their best interest. They already know. They can read his facial expressions, body language. They can read his pheromones. Man, this stuff is on another level. They can read his pheromones. They can read all that stuff. So they always know when you at mentally, bro. Based on your body language, your facial expressions. They always know when you at mentally. They always know. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys be thinking they don't know, but they know. Oh, they know, they know, they know. Oh, they know, they know, they know. Oh, they know. Believe that. They know. So don't don't get don't get it twisted, man. Don't get it twisted, Joe. But I wouldn't recommend y'all to deal with no toxic people, you know? Toxic women, no toxic relationships, no toxic family. Them titles ain't them titles ain't worth the pain, bro. 
you can pray for somebody for a distance, but you can't help nobody if they're driving you cuckoo. If they messing with your stress level, they they messing with your your mind. You know, if they messing with your stress level, they messing with your mind, bro. You got to cut off. I don't care how good they look. I don't care how good it is in the bedroom, how tight it is. I don't care if she got that snapper. I don't care if she got that kung fu grip. I don't care if she got that. You ladies, I don't care if the man got a full on. I don't care if he feeling every spot up in that in that pocket. It, it ain't worth it if he, you know what I'm saying? If he, you really ain't getting a serious peace of mind, you got to wait to the bedroom to get a little bit of joy. You robbing your life. Because that's only going to last for what, an hour at the max. You know what I'm saying? So you got to deal with this dude. All these hours of bringing you all this drama. That's why you be seeing them beautiful women that you could tell they used to look better, but they look like they've been through stuff because they put they self through it. They put they self through the stuff, man. They put they self through it because they wanted some excitement. Oh, this dude don't like me. It's going to be a journey dealing with him. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing more exciting to them than a challenge. There's nothing more exciting to them than a challenge. So a lot of them like challenges, man. So many women around the world like challenges, bro. They don't know how to choose. A lot, a lot of them don't, don't know how to choose. A lot of guys don't know how to choose either, but mostly women don't know how to choose. They spend, most of them women spend the best years of their life. They spend the best years of their life dealing with the wrong guy. They waste all them good years, them, that good, them good, that good yabba dabba do years. All that good yabba do years, they get it ran through. They break it through, they, they wear it out. They wear that, they wear that yabba dabba do out, man. You know what I'm saying? They wear that yabba, that yabba dabba do get ran through by the wrong dude. By the time the dude that's worth something get it, it look like this. You want some? It's yours. You can have it now. You want some? You can have it now. By the time they get, by the time they give it to the right dude, it slops. It ain't even working properly in most cases. And not including the toys and the stuff. Not even including the activity they doing. You know what I'm saying? That's wearing it out. You know what I'm saying? Jury Vibes, what's up, brother? Come on over to Alan Reignier Live. YouTube page. We over here waiting for you. So if you can, if you if you can't, that's cool. But if you uh, if you can come over to YouTube at Alan Ring and that live, we over here waiting for you, brother. But if you want to stay over there, that's that's cool. What's up? What's up? Come on over to Alan Ring and that live if you can on YouTube. That's where we at. So, but uh, yeah, man, it's uh, so I never was a fan of the toxic women thing. You know what I'm saying? Women are already interesting enough just the way they act. I don't need nothing extra about about them. I don't need nothing extra. They already come with a lot of a lot of sides. You know what I'm saying? It's always it's already a lot of stuff you gotta deal with. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't recommend it. You know. A lot of you guys may recommend so I don't know, have any of you guys ever liked the toxic Women, women that got a drama with them and um, they loud out in the street, you know what I'm saying? They got ex-boyfriends calling their phone, you know what I'm saying? You got ex-boyfriends calling their phone. You got drama, you know what I'm saying? 
It's just too much drama, man. They arguing with your family. I ain't never deal with all that stuff. Jury vibes in the house. Jury, you ain't never deal with none of them, uh, you ain't never deal with none of them toxic women like that. I think when I was in elementary, when I was in elementary, I did. I had a girl, I had a girl named T. For Henson 77, what's up for Henson, brother? Come on over to Allen Ray and they're live on YouTube. We over here. We over here, brother. If you can come on over, switch on over to Allery and they're live on YouTube. That's all good. We got Jerry. We got Juan Gail. Yeah, man. It's not good for your health, man. So many guys do it because... So many guys do it because the, uh, sometimes the girl looks so good. But it ain't worth the headache. I don't care how good she looks. It's just not worth the headache if you ask me. It's not worth the headache, man. So many guys are just dealing with, they married to women. I'd be like, God, she look good. I'd be thinking to myself, she look good, but man. Look what that brother got to deal with. One dude was on the phone in the giant. One guy was on the phone in the giant saying, baby, it wasn't, no, I didn't do it. I would never do that to you. And she just playing him. She just playing him like that. She know, got his emotions all over the place. She knows she can control him. She got his emotions everywhere. Never let a woman get you like that. Be quick to let him go. I don't care how good her body is. There's always somebody else out there that looks just as good. Yep, we on Allen Ray and Live out for Henson. Seven, seven, seven. We on Allen Ray and Live if you can switch over. If you can switch over to YouTube, uh, you can go ahead and switch over if you can. So I seen that brother, man. He was crying. A grown man, he was like crying in the, in the giant, man. He was crying. I said, look at this man crying like, like this. Ain't nothing wrong with crying. But just don't cry when you know you right and she's convincing you you wrong because she just want to see your reaction to know if she still got power over you. She want to see your reaction just to know if she still got power over you. So that's what you got to understand. You got to understand that a lot of times they know that they wrong. They want to cause drama for control purposes. They want to see how much you care. If you be quiet and take their stuff, that, 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 you take all their mouth, all they're going to do is elevate it. We got Queen View Coffee Shop in the house. 